Okay, here we are. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Milat and in this video, basically I wanna talk about salaries in Finland. Well, I have already won another uh, video about salaries in 2023, I think. And also I have another video in another channel for 2024. But this video is gonna be much more complete. It's gonna cover um, all the skills all kinds of jobs from the minimum to the topest and this is what i experienced here in finland actually and that could be true and that could be accurate for the rest of the europe as well but there could be a little bit difference between the expenses and uh the salary you get so let's begin with the minimum money you um, can get paid uh, from the government so it's gonna be around 200 300 euros it's just kind of help support from government for students or those who are learning and studying uh, for instance for immigrant who uh, come to the country and when they trying to learn Finnish language government gives uh, about 200 euros 300 euros for them for the uh, transportation for pen and paper and this kind of stuff it's not a huge amount of money and it's not somehow um, salary but well it's um, money in the end and it's good money but the next um, basically level that government um, can help you and usually helps you with that is uh, the money or unemployment benefit it's around something um, 700 euros so if you're unemployed and if you're looking for a job and during that time government uh, gives you that money and uh, this comes from an organization called Kela here in Finland. So it's again it's not salary but rather it's just some kind of support help uh, from government. It's good money. It's good enough. Basically uh, with seven hundred eight hundred euros uh, well you can have a roof on top of your head well it's not exactly true because also government will help you with housing stuff uh, if you don't have enough money to pay the rent and you can also have uh, a little bit of food so it's not a huge amount of money but it's good enough to you know to live by so let's begin with actual salaries here so the minimum salary the minimum minimum threshold that basic government looks and tell you that you, if you need money or not is around 1200 euros 1200 uh, euros or basically 1200 euros so if you're doing something if you have a part-time job that uh, they give you around 700 or 800 euros so it's not a minimum salary so Kela department or basically the government gives you the rest of that to achieve the minimum salary so that's the minimum you can get here the very next thing is um basically mostly general works by general works i mean that you don't have that much training or you don't need that much uh, courses or only degree for that and in these cases, um, so it's gonna be around, it starts from obviously from 1200 euros. It goes up to 2000 euros, 2200 euros, like that. Jobs like, you know, being a cleaner, uh, a normal worker, a simple nurse, a nurse that can provide some services for elderly people or delivery even so if you work full-time as a delivery uh, the end result will be something like you know two thousand euros per month it's good enough if you're a delivery man but if you're doing that job part-time so it's gonna be much less than this it's gonna be around maybe 10 12 euros per hour so it depends if you're full-time or part-time but that's a whole point so it's gonna start from 10 euros 
per hour to maybe 12 or 13 uh, euros. The next novel jobs we have, it's not expert area, it's kind of both, you know, it's half expert. Basically, you need to pass some courses, you need to have some kind of training. Uh, for instance, being a cook or being a barber, basically, you need to have some kind of training and uh, you need to have some skills beforehand, some experiences. So um, these jobs usually have more salary. It's gonna be starts from through 2000 euros up to maybe 3500 euros. Again, it depends on different things, on your job, on your skills, the background you have, uh, depends on the, the situation of the work and uh, the time of the year and a lot of different things but the minimum and the maximum should be like this. If you're going to work in a cafe uh, it's gonna be something around 2000 euros something like that sometimes less sometimes more but if you're experienced and if you're going to work there as a full-time employee that's gonna be your salary something like that and now it's the time to talk about about expert jobs so basically the minimum threshold for getting permit as an expert in uh, Finland is uh, 3700 euros so below that it's it's not called expert jobs even though uh, you can have a degree you can have a lot of experiences your job is technical your job is engineering but you're getting less than that if you're getting less than that your visa your work permit uh, won't be uh, permit a or based on work permit the, the, the type is gonna be different it's just the definition of uh, migration uh, department uh, but um, if you're training and you're going to be hired as a trainee in software development company uh, your salary is gonna start from through 2,000 euros that's the beginning and then it's gonna go up to junior developer it's around 2,500 euros um, 2700 euros even uh, 3000 euros for for junior developer and from junior developer to mid level developer it's gonna be it's something between 3000 euros to 4000 euros or even a little bit more but if you're senior developer it's gonna start from at least 4000 euros and then it goes up up to 5,000 uh, euros or even 6,000 euros and that's gonna be the maximum I believe in, for most of the companies for the average uh, number of companies in Finland that's gonna be the most uh, salary you can get as a senior developer uh, it's gonna be around 6,000 euros at most if the company is really great it's if it's if they're doing really great and they need really uh, an expert guy with a lot of background, it's gonna be maybe at maximum uh, 7,000 euros. But pretty much that's the maximum for most of the software development companies in uh, Finland or other uh, areas. The software companies pay the maximum usually, but if you're doing other kinds of engineering in other companies or factories it's gonna be usually less than this and the, um, the, the maximum is lower than this um, which is really strange and weird for a lot of people uh, when they compare it with uh, countries like Canada or USA so if you want to have a good sense of uh, what's going on here and why these are the salaries and what we don't have salaries over is for for instance for a uh, software engineer the reason is that you need to take everything into consideration like the balance between work and life because the pressure of work is really low here you don't feel anything you just go to work from nine to five and then after that you have all your time 
and you can do whatever you want you don't have to open your laptop the pressure during work is really low and there are a lot of stuff that we can discuss about it and uh, we can discuss about why Finland is the happiest country in the world because there are a lot of different parameters the healthcare system uh, the benefits from government all kinds of stuff so if you want to have a a better sense of these numbers you need to take everything into consideration and that's the point of this but if you want to just take a look at the numbers and say that oh it's really low why I need to work in Finland because it's not really good for a senior developer then if you want to have a calm and quiet and you know easy life um, it's not always about money and you need to think about everything but this video is not about that I just wanted to give you a hint why numbers are like this and uh, getting you know 5,000 euros per month is a high level job in Finland and you're gonna have a really good life here and uh, uh, the, the average of salaries is something around 3,000 to 4,000 euros see uh, that's the average this for the maybe for 70 percent of people and so 5,000 6,000 is really great but also consider this that somebody who uh, has the salary of for instance 6,000 euros pretty much well 2,000 euros goes for pensions and goes for taxes so the at the end of the day the difference between who gets paid around uh, 4,000 euros and who gets paid around 6,000 euros is not really that much the quality of their life is not really uh, different and uh, they, they have a pretty much same life but the person who gets for instance 6,000 euros can have a better car or a better house you know but not that much uh, the difference is not really the gap is not really big if you compare to countries like Canada or USA the gap there is really big really huge you have a lot of pe people at the bottom of the society and you have uh, a few people at the top and the gap between these two minimum and maximum is really huge and it can be good it can be bad I'm not gonna talk about that but I'm just describing the situation here so here the average people 70% of people have pretty much similar lives they can enjoy um, you know pretty much similar in similar ways they don't have to spend a lot of money to have fun and to have a, a happy and good life so um, I was supposed to be about salaries but uh, thought maybe it's good if I talk also about these things so let me go to the next level so the next level is senior developers you know um, engineers with really good background uh, so PhD students here get 20 around 2400 euros also a little bit tax there it's gonna be 200 euros for tax I think but um, for postdoc students it's going to be much higher it's around 36 3800 euros which is really great it's like uh, a mid-level you know uh, technician or developer so after that we're gonna have mid-level managers to top level managers we have doctors uh, physicians uh, physiotherapist psychologist with you know good background and for this kind of jobs it's gonna start from 5,000 euros CEOs for instance uh, the average rate here is 8,000 euros after the tax deduction and the pensions you know it's gonna be 6,500 euros see the gap between a CEO and a senior developer is not really that much while if you look at the numbers in the USA or um, Canada the gap is really huge however these are just some numbers there are a lot of companies that the CEO gets really huge numbers 
and uh, it's just the average and you can take at these numbers in different websites basically and I'm talking based on my experiences based on the numbers in my company and also I took a look at different websites and different numbers and different job positions basically and so this for average for CEOs is like eight nine thousand euros and also a doctor uh, can get around the same number six seven thousand euros something like that. that's pretty much I just wanted to show you the big picture um, I'm not 100% sure about all these numbers as just our rough estimation it's not written in stone so that could be wrong so if you want to come to Finland if you if you want to just compare your salary if you're in another country in Europe just make sure that uh, you have looked and watched a lot of resources and videos about this and then come into conclusion Ask me if you have any questions, if you get, um, if your salary are different from this, please let me know. Please leave me a comment below in the description about that so that others can also benefit from it. That's all. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you next time.